is Chris Carpenter. Some may know me better as Chris Rex. I'm a professional wrestler, a graphic designer, and podcaster. And I'm here to talk about something that really hits home for me. Mental health awareness and specifically suicide awareness. Um, I both attempted suicide and have lost a loved one to suicide. I battle with depression and anxiety every day. So anyone out there, I want you to know that you are not alone. You know, um, I deal with it as well. And I also know that if you let it, it can consume your life. Um, you can hurt people around you without even knowing it. The, the thoughts in your head, they, they consume you. And I personally, I, I was in a bad place for a long time. I mean, I was jealous of everyone. I was envious of everyone. I was so negative. Nothing good would come out of my mouth. Um, it was just this downward spiral I just kept going in and I couldn't find any happiness and I would project my insecurities on other people. Um, but on November 5th, 2018, I got a call from my brother around close to 3 a.m. and uh, he had told me that my father had passed away. Um, I, I was broken. Um, instantly broke down in tears and I, I just couldn't believe it because he was a strong person. For, to me, he was, he was Superman. You know, he was the definition of a man. And I wouldn't ever think that he, he would do something like this, um, especially with, he you knows my history and he's helped me through a lot of what I was going through. So this really, really hit me hard. Um, and it took, it took a long time and I'm still, I'm still healing. You know, it, it's a pain that I don't know if it'll ever go away. And I didn't know how many lives my father touched uh, from the people who he grew up with in his neighborhood to the churches he did charity work for, uh, the people he worked for and done work for and helped them with little things, their door needs to be fixed or something. He, he was always the man to help you, you know, and that really hit me, you know, the amount of lives he touched and to touch that many lives and it, it really in, in, in made me think about my life. And he wasn't the type of person to really express his feelings like that. He wasn't the type of person I have a deep conversation with. Um, and I just want people to know that it's okay to show emotion. It's, it's human. We're all human. We have emotions. We have feelings. It's okay to show those feelings. It's, it's normal to show sympathy and empathy for people. If, if you see someone's having, you know, a, a bad day or, or they're trying to reach out, be there for them, say something kind to them. Uh, oftentimes we don't know the words that we're saying to somebody could hurt others. And especially with the recent tragedy of Hanukkah Moore, I think we really need to take that in and try to change who, who we are and how we react to people and how we talk to people to think before we speak and before we type. Uh, myself included, you know, I, it's really made me think over the past few days about, you know, what I can do to, to prevent this from happening to someone else. And like I said, I, I battle with depression and anxiety. So I, I want you guys to know that it's all right to reach out. If you're going through, through this, if you've had suicide attempts, if you're thinking about suicide, if you, you have depression and you, you, especially during this pandemic, reach out to somebody. It's all right to reach out to somebody. You shouldn't be scared to reach out to somebody. It's only, it's only going to help you. Um, and that's something that I've learned to deal with. So I, I just, I just really want you guys to, you know, know my story and, and understand my story. And I want you guys to know that I understand you. Again, you are not alone. That isn't just some gimmick. That is just some cliche. You aren't. You can reach out. You can reach out to me. I'm sure you can reach out to Jackson Stone. There's people you can reach out to if you feel like there's nobody that are here for you. I'm here for you. We're here for you. You are loved. We're, we're here for you. Uh, so please, you know, be kind to people. Think about what you say before you say it. And uh, please just, just love each other.